Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Richard here and you join me in uh, my uh, workshop garage on Saturday the 24th of August 2020. And uh, we've actually got to the very end of the project for the Melody 115 now. So I thought this afternoon um, I'd just run through where we are with the project and also um, what the final things will be and then um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut into that, um, how things are going, because this project has been slightly longer than I anticipated, partly because I've been doing other things in my life, I've been working quite hard, also um, been getting out of lockdown, or the big pause as I like to call it, so I've uh, been going to do the swimming, gym, and also I've been doing, as you know, in between work when I've had a back ga a gap, a gap, um, I've been, uh, I've been doing some voluntary work in Maidstone at the Heart of Kent Hospice Shop, which I thoroughly enjoy. I've also um, volunteered for Maidstone Radio, though I haven't done very much with them. Uh, at the weekend, last, uh, last Sunday, uh, uh, James and I went to the Festival Italia, which is held at Brands Hatch. And I've got a video, I've got some video in the can as they say, uh, but I haven't edited it yet, so I will do um, a video about that. So if you're interested in that, watch out, there's some track side. There weren't quite so many people there this year. I think because of lockdown, they probably restricted uh, the numbers, but it was still a great day out. I mean, the weather was okay. It, was, it tried to rain, but nothing nothing like it did last year when I took when Tom and I went. So, um, but uh, yeah, great day out. I had a nice burger. So I've got some nice photographs that I can put into that as well. And uh, yeah, I also met up with some of the uh, South East of Bath uh, team as well. But um, so yeah, so that was good. It was a good day out. And uh, I've now joined the South East of Bath um, group, which is based in Maidstone. Uh, Carly is the secretary there. So uh, and so much so that I get 10% off my servicing uh, for both cars, not only the Spider 124, which I took uh, Passio to that event and looked actually amazing. I'll put some pictures on, but also um, uh, on my bath as well. So the 595, which is really doing well, little Grecio, uh, which sits on the drive as well. So yeah, so it's great, great time, great time. So what I'm gonna do is just take you, walk you around what we've done so far, just to remind everybody, and, uh, because the last video I made was really wasn't an update because I hadn't really done anything. Well, that was on the 8th of August, that last one. And then um, and I played to that lovely Harry Roy number as well um, and uh, th shout out to um, uh, Peter who very kindly um, commented about Leslie Holmes being on the vocal of that record thank you very much Peter that's really great and it's nice to have comments back from people from members of my memory lane society and uh, Peter's one of the main contributors there writes in the magazine so if you're interested in early dance band music then uh, by all means um, uh, I'll put a link down there for you down below. Don't forget to comment uh, also, and if you're new to the channel, look forward to, we'd really like you to become a member. Just click the subscribe button and also a little bell so you know each time I'm uploading. And uh, yeah, lots more projects coming. And uh, so in between the, uh, the weather, the weather this afternoon, sunny uh, at 24, as I said, uh, and it's the, uh, what's the day? It's the 22nd today. I think I said it's the 24th, it's the 22nd today of August and uh, it's 24 degrees so it's still summer still very warm still top-down weather if you're in a sports car like I do so anyway without further ado let me just waffle on let me just take you off the stand here of Mr GoPro Hero 4 so let me just show you what we've got up to so this is the underside uh, on its side here so um, if you remember rightly I had to replace some of the grommets for this um, let me use as a pointer for the motor here and I'll uh, show you that shortly when I cut into that bit. Um, I also um, cleaned up the chassis and uh, made sure that all the electrics are right. I've replaced the mains cable which now travels along the back here under these. I stuck these little uh, cable uh, supports I suppose they are uh, and uh, rewired that into the main transformer which is here. The um, rest of it's working really well. I put a heat shield as well up here because these valves do generate a bit of heat, uh, but um, probably not as much as you probably would think, but just for safety reasons more than anything else. And also in the actual area where the wire normally sits, I've put this piece here that normally covers this corner in. I've left, I've just nailed it back here to get a bit more air into the flow, air flow 
once the machine is working because at one point you remember I was a bit concerned that the uh, voltage was too high but in fact the voltage is fine and I think the motor just needed a bit of bedding in with some grease because it was there's some grease these are grease pads these are felt pads here and there they you grease those up and they keep the bearings running nicely um, but uh, otherwise it's running really well so so let me just show you what else I've had to do I'll just pause the camera here and then come back to you in a second so I'm back now. So the other thing I had to make sure was all the uh, sprockets had been well and truly greased. So this one's a 78, that's 45, that's 33 and that's 16 I think. Yes. So they're all working okay now because remember the very first video when I had this machine it was all a bit dodgy. It was So I had to sort of make sure that the uh, under here, under the arm, you've got a very good um, uh, the selector and then the top of the selector acts as a stay for the uh, art tone arm. I've also um, managed to clean up the starless and the crystal cartridge area and actually these 45 one, the 45 starless was actually catching the top of the, I can't think you can see that there, the top of this housing. So I've managed to uh, slightly bend it back and it plays all right and so that will stop any future humming being picked up by the tone arm here as well so that's better um, so yeah and we've got a, a 45 uh, adapter there for that that's okay um, this I've given this whole area a nice polish now including this beautiful speaker which is a reverse cone speaker with two tweeters so they I think we talked about that before so if I turn this around so you can see it's still got the original coverings there um, and so um, yeah so it's really good um, and uh, I think I remember rightly, let's check here. I think they're made in Germany those actually. Yes, they're German made, aren't they? So it's a French machine, so on that bit. And then on the base, and I'll turn the camera off so I can show you, I've replaced the um, uh, little feet because they also, these were the feet that were there, these uh, rubbery, and they've gone completely hard. What I've done, I've actually managed to find some new ones, not of that type, but a similar type. So if you remember rightly, if I just turn this up, if you remember rightly, um, underneath you can put the records in there. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'll put these new feet on there. So, and then um, this pit underneath undoes with these clips, that one. If I just do that, I might be able to do that actually. Let's just. There we go. And there you are, and the records fit in there. Um, you can put your 33s in there and 78s in there, which I didn't realize was there until I opened it. Those beautiful um, French records that I played uh, a while ago. So I've left those feet, they're the original ones, but I put some felt on so I, when I have it in the house or wherever, uh, it will do better there. So that's a really sort of a bit of an update, really. So um, what I do is, um, I've got to just finish off putting the turntable back on again and then I'll find a suitable record and uh, that will be the last really and uh, the next time you see it will be in the house um, and I think we'll play it up there for a while uh, and amongst everything else and just um, see, give a good demo. So let me find a record in a minute and uh, I'll be back. So, to play us out, uh, on the Piccadilly label, When You're Smiling, which you might um, remember is, has been uh, done quite a few times, redone. This is on the Piccadilly label uh, with um, and When You're Smiling by Mark Fisher and Joe Goodwin and Larry Slay. Uh, Bob and Alf Pearson are with a uh, duet with piano, number 571. So, Piccadilly Records, London. So, enjoy on the... Uh, Melody 115, so here we go. I saw a blind man, he was a kind man, helping a fellow along. One could not walk, but they both were humming this song. When you're smiling, when you're 
Diddy label and uh, when you're smiling so uh, there with that concludes the uh, completion of the uh, electric French record player portable record player and I uh, hope you've enjoyed that uh, I've just remembered I've got some little bits I've still got one or two things I'm going to clean up the screws that really go uh, these ones just make sure everything's all right before I put the screws back here um, and uh, then I'm going to put also I'm going to put the original cable which as you know was failing. I'm going to put that into the bottom part here so it, all the provenance is with this machine. But uh, thank you very much for uh, taking and watching and uh, I look forward to chatting to you on the very next project. And don't forget, as I say, I'll be uploading the Festival Italia Brands Hatch 2020 uh, in an up and coming video shoot soon. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and uh, share. See you all soon. Take care. All the best. Bye.